pick one. Heat it up a little bit. Pick one. Politician or Hollywood executive? If you had to pick one, which one would you be? I don't see. Uh, I see. Uh, I don't see really um, anything positive in uh, being a politician <laughs> unless I was like a lobbyist. I do because you you feel like you want to change the world. You want to affect change because I want to help my people and I want to do all this stuff that's meaningful stuff. But uh, really, to be trapped in a party where you can't do what you feel like you need to do, uh, you're in a position and you don't have a voice. Uh, it seems like stressful life and death hollywood executive i I don't feel like nobody's life's in my hand i still get the money fame and notoriety uh so you know um, if i had to be one i would definitely be uh a hollywood executive Uh, if i had to be stuck in a room with either one i would pick either so uh, (laughs) (laughs) what's what you picking pill uh probably Hollywood executive, you know. I don't see politicians, man. That's stuff. That's a, that's a different monster, man. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can want to do stuff, but you still got somebody above you calling the shots, so you really ain't got no pull. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, man, you know what's crazy, man? Like, I'm totally opposite. I don't know. It's like Hollywood executive. So like, it's it, you don't want to be a Hollywood executive right now. It seems like every Hollywood executive is always so negative, a cloud over the head. Man. Because they do. It's like, have you ever keep doing stuff? They not have you ever been a positive? <laughs> but see, here's the thing though about a politician though. This is something I ask y'all. Like, they always say they want to make changes and stuff. That's what they tell us when they're trying to get us to vote. But do they really make changes when they be in office? <laughs> You know what no, I'm saying? and that's what Bill was saying. Can they make changes? Is it even possible as one now. person and one voice? Like you got your your congressman, you one congressman, yeah. or <laughs> your one government governor. You know what I mean? Maybe you can uh, appeal some uh, death sentences. You know what I mean? Uh, get somebody off death row, or you know, it's not okay. a lot. Let me ask you this: without votes. Well, think about this with politicians. They say they are some of the richest people, even though they they have a salary, a base salary as a politician, but they be millionaires, like, why they in office, though, you know what I'm saying? Like they Nancy are. Pelosi, worth $100 million, but that ain't her base salary, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Her base salary probably was, like, maybe six figures, maybe, something like that. But, you know what I mean, lobbyists uh, can get to them, and they can, you know, be bribed. Yeah. You know, it's legal bribes and things like that. Yeah. I think it's just all about your your mentality. I think if this is my opinion, when I see politicians, it seems like if you don't care about the perception, or if you don't care about um, if you don't care about uh, what people think you, because it seems like they don't care. Like you think about like what's the dude Tom Cotton? He say some of the most craziest stuff. But do you think he care? He still say it. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I but I think he's representing. Um, he got to get his votes. He represents that small niche of right, basically our candy, uh, our Kansas, uh, yeah, Arkansas-based uh, thoughts and perceptions. He's saying with his people want to hear. It. He actually represents people who think like that, so he know they're going to react to what he says and they're going to gravitate uh, to him when he says that because that's what they're thinking. It's not. It's outlandish to us for somebody to say that. But he's speaking to a specific demographic of people who yeah, think yeah. like him, and it's a lot yeah. more. He's just a he's just a poster child. He's just a face of oh, that, 100%. Uh, those 100%. ideas and that mindset. But, like but I think there are politics like yeah. it. You know what I mean? I think there are politicians though who know how to slide through the cracks. And weave that way through and get out of that thing and be rich and get benefits for life. I've seen it's, it's crazy, like politicians that we don't even know about. Like, they it's, depending on what level they you want, pay taxes. See, what they don't right. tell you, what they don't tell you is when you get um, when they say for instance they uh running for a position, the money that they get from the, from them donations to run, mm-hmm. yeah, they don't win. That's their money. That's their money. I'm telling you. They had them fancy dinners, be like, you know, such and such donated about two million to you. And then you win, boy, you in 
They in your pockets forever. That's what they don't tell you. It's crazy and insane. Yeah, crazy and um, insane. But, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I see what you're saying though. But yeah, they um, uh, my mom said they, they received a golden parachute package. That's funny. <laughs> what? You, you boy, they do. Uh, man, boy. Hey, man. Hollywood executives tough, man. I think like like Harvey Weinstein, all them dudes, and yeah. you see but like no, they man, always talk about they get railroaded. Don't be a a sicko. You straight. You know but even mean? the ones that's not sicko, they still be saying how they get over like with the strike. They trying to use AI to replace <laughs> actors and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> they use their likeness. AI. <laughs> like don't do that. You know what I mean? Don't be uh, a bad politician. But, don't be, uh, you know what I mean, uh, assaulting people. Can you be successful? Can, have you ever seen a good, clean, wholesome politician that didn't get involved with nothing? How can you be a politician and not swim? <laughs> you got to dance with the with the, <laughs> with the the sharks, man. If you don't, you're not going to be a – you can't just be a politician to be separated from it and just – I don't know. I ain't never seen it. I don't know. I ain't never seen it. You know what I'm saying? Even what's the name, Tracy Steele? He went against the hood talking about – wait, he made a law against sagging or something like that. <laughs> He had to get on that side whether he wanted to or not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Be an office for that long. That's all this stuff you passed up like that. I'm going to make a law get sagging pain. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. That's funny.